Everybody, what is going on, everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Overwatch on the Fanboy Potion channel. I hope that you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Don't forget, if you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like. That would be very highly appreciated. I hope that you guys enjoyed the last one, which was the showcase for May. I'm actually recording this one right after it, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, left a like, and maybe we reached like 450 likes, 500. That would be absolutely amazing. So... With that being said, today we're going to be playing as Mercy. She will be the character of the day, and I would love for you guys to vote on your favorite Mercy skin in the comments section below. So whichever one you like, just type it on in to the comments section below. So let's see what we have. We have Celestial and Mist. Those are actually ones that I have unlocked. Um, those are... Are they any? Oh, okay, I see. There is a color difference. At first, I was like, what's changed? Like, most of it stayed the same. And then I realized that their um, little um, armor pieces and the uh, garment and everything changed a little bit. Uh, you know what? I think this one looks really nice. So let's go with that. Uh, then there's also Orchid, uh, Verdant, Amber. Ooh, I like that. That is awesome because that has red in it. I like red. Uh, Cobalt is uh, very cool. Very kind of uh, noble looking. Uh, then we've got... This would go very well with like Soldier 76, right? Uh, then we've got Sigrun. That is a cool skin. This reminds me uh, of Lady Sith from uh, the Thor universe. Uh, then we've got Valkyrie. Very cool. Again, very appropriate for Marvel Universe characters. Uh, or I guess just... Um, Elder characters, so to speak. Well, not Elder. Uh, why am I completely blanking? Uh, Norse. Norse characters. Uh, then we have Devil. Whoa, okay. Interesting. Didn't expect that. And Imp. Whoa, that is crazy looking. I, I didn't really expect those skins for the character, but those look crazy cool. Especially because, you know, like here, she's got this like angel thing going on uh, as far as a character. And then, boom, it just throws you into a completely different loop. So, that's kind of cool. All right. So, let's do this. Time to play some more Overwatch. Today, we're going to be playing as Mercy, who I believe is uh, a healer type character. So, I wonder if she'll be similar to Lucio in some way, shape, or form. And I'm very much... Uh, wondering what her abilities will be like i've never ever played as her so i don't know what to expect whatsoever i have played against her plenty of times and she was a part of our team i think that it's her who has the ability to like revive people i'm pretty sure but i'm not 100 percent certain i'm pretty sure though if uh, one of your teammates has fallen i'm pretty sure one of her abilities is to uh, resurrect them that could be her ult which would make sense because it's a pretty powerful ability. So maybe that's exactly what it is. But I know that she also has like this ray uh, ability where it's like this um, light beam that connects to your target. And I think that heals you as well a whole bunch. So I think that's another one of her abilities. But we'll see for sure what uh, she can do in just a moment here. So um, uh, as we hop into the match on Nepal. Okay, look at all those Zenyatta statues. Looking very cool. And then that really, really awesome spaceship up above there. That is uh, quite neato as well. All right. You can change your current hero in something, something. But I didn't get a chance to read all of that. Um, all right. So, uh, Mercy. There she is. All the way out here. Here we go. All right. I'm looking forward to finding out what we can do. So, we have the ability to resurrect, which, uh, as I suspected, is our ultimate. Uh, we can fly towards an ally with L1, so that's kind of cool, like a charge, I guess. Then we have the co Codices Staff, I think. I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, hold to heal an ally. Hold to increase an ally's damage. Ooh. And then we also have a Blaster which is uh, our offensive weapon. And then we have Angelic Descent, which allows us to hold to fall very slowly. Okay. This is very interesting because so many different abilities. Okay, so then L1. How, how fast of a dash is it? It doesn't seem to actually work. Unless if I'm doing something wrong. Oops. Come on. Let me heal. All right. I am healing this person, making sure they stay alive and well. Get over here. Come on. Okay, I just got hit there. Let me increase his damage as well, because I think that'd be really, really good. Right? Oh, wait. I think I'm supposed to hold this down for damage. There we go. All right, let me heal first. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Got gotcha. you. Come back up. Let's go, dude. 
Ooh, okay, I actually kind of like uh, playing this more, much more kind of supportive character. It's very interesting because you're so, like, your concerns are so different than what you would have before. So it's like really strange because I'm not like used to playing a character like this where I am predominantly basically a defensive character. I don't really do a lot of damage or I, I don't know, maybe I do a lot of damage. I've just not even tried. But um, I don't know. I'm just used to always playing like offensive characters. So it's very weird for me. Oh no. I'm taking care of you. I don't think I'll be able to pick him up. Ouch. Okay, yeah, Bastion's gonna take you out. I'm walking in here. Oh come on, really? How much health do they all have? Look at that! Look how little health they have. That is insane. Somebody needs to take out that Bastion, though, because he's got the ability to heal, so that'd be pretty important if we could actually take him out. A speedy recovery. All right, come on. Ooh, okay, so I'm also realizing, by the way, my L1 allows me to dash to um, friendly no one uh, enemies so that I could heal them. Wow. How was I destroyed in two shots? Oh, okay, Widowmaker makes sense now. I was like, I'm confused. How did that take me out so quickly? But yeah, Widowmaker is a nightmare in that regard. Okay, this is bad because they're uh, already scoring 60% uh, of points and we haven't done anything to really challenge them uh, in any significant manner. So, dude, put down the turret. Let's go. Like, wow. Seriously? If I'm healing you, you gotta take out the guy that's attacking me. The whole point is that that's how we work. I save you, you save me. You know? But clearly that's not the case. They're about to win. We, we gotta do something. This is bad. Like, we have done nothing to really... There we go. Okay, we were contesting it. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it, it, I'm just such a squishy character, like they just take me out so quickly, it's really frustrating. We're 0-5, I mean look at that, did you see that? It, like I felt like he hit me for like 20 seconds. Man, that is so tough. That is really, really challenging. Because I feel like I'm like not doing anything almost, to a certain extent, but at the same time it's like, I don't know, I felt like I was really important in that first scramble. It's just after that, it seemed like we were just completely disorganized and we didn't really have any strategy of actually how to take them out. Whereas they clearly had a great strategy of defending. They were like, hey, let's all transform into Widowmakers and Bastions and stuff like that so that you, we could hold our ground for a long period of time. But it didn't seem like we did any of that. To be fair, I probably should have switched characters. But as I said, since we're playing the character showcases, I'm sticking with whatever character I'm playing. So that uh, is not going to be changing. All right. Let me power up their attacks. Because if Widowmaker has got a boost in attack, imagine. Just imagine. Alright. Somebody! Somebody! Guys! You've got to be kidding me. How is that... Oh my goodness. That is crazy! How did they all sneak up behind us? The whole team! It was the whole entire team. It was like the entire team was there. That is insane. Where was everyone else? That's what I'm wondering. Especially because I noticed that they were sneaking up and that's why I moved sideways. I was like, okay, gotta move away. Oh no. Okay. So tricky to use that thing. Let's get you back out there. Oh no. I can't I can't go in there right now. Let me give him a damage boost. Oh man, I thought I could uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, that's so tricky, because I genuinely don't think that this character could go one-on-one -on -one with uh, most characters, unfortunately. 
I, just because I'm like when I was fighting him there, I'm trying to think to myself like, okay, what abilities do I have to like do something? There's nothing. Like this is all helpful to the team. Um, L1 is a dash towards a teammate, so I could like run away, but I can't really do much in terms of a one-on-one -on -one fight, which is really frustrating because I'd love to be able to help in a more significant way. I'm gonna try to heal him. There we go. Okay, now we're doing good capture work. Let me give him a boost as well. And heal him. Alright, that's probably the key. Is like, I'm supposed to probably just stick next to, uh... Heroes never die. Somebody who's gonna do a lot of damage. Or absorb a lot of damage, like Reinhardt, for example. And if we can do that, then we could be significant. Come on, help me! Take him out. Thank you. Dude, behind you. Let me heal him. I'm healing him. Oh no, oh no, now I'm in trouble. Somebody's chasing me, guaranteed. Oh man, I can't even win that little firefight there. Man, that's tough. That is really, really tough. Because the fire rate is so minimal, it just becomes like excruciatingly difficult to actually win uh, those types of little firefights. Uh, is best used on what? What did it say? I didn't even get a chance to read that tip. Whatever it was. I'm sure it's something along the lines of like, hey, use revives on characters that are really tanky. Because uh, that means they'll be able to stay alive for a longer period of time. Let me give him a damage boost. Okay, my... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Come back. Help me. Help me. Tracer. All right. I'm just going to go attack. I think that's a lot more useful. All right. I got to stay with him. Stay behind. Cover. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to pull something off with the pistol, but it just does not seem to want to work whatsoever. I'm just like constantly like, okay, I can, maybe I can win this one. Nope. <laughs> I'm just unable to win those fights for some reason. It's very strange. All right. Oh, come on. I'd love to be able to move faster, but I always have to like uh, teleport with L1. All right. So we're doing okay as far as I, I feel like, again... It's very weird for me to play this character, not because there's something like, oh, bad about her or anything. It just doesn't fit my personal playstyle. Like, I, I much would, I much would, I would much more, sorry, rather play a more offensive character and be participating in the fight more actively in terms of the actual fight. But I could totally see how somebody would really, really enjoy playing as Mercy because you just have a completely different mindset in terms of how you approach the battle. Because all you're doing is you're focused on managing the health of all your teammates you're paying attention to all this kind of stuff in that regard and you know what like i could totally see that even being fun because your stress levels are completely different you're worried about a completely different thing than uh the uh typical player is all right here we go let me get you back up dude Come on, do some damage. Come on. Oh no. Revive him? Okay. Ooh. Maybe this Reinhardt might be able to pull something off. I don't know. Possibly. I brought him back so that he would maybe pull that off, but man. That was really bad. Did you see that? That Soldier 76 just destroyed uh, uh, both of us there. That was not good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. We need to have the turret down for Torbjorn. That's what we need. Uh oh. Oh my 
goodness. I cannot do anything with that pistol. I don't know. I, I'm sure that there's people who are like really, really good with Mercy who could probably even do really, really good work with that pistol, but I don't know. It just, it's so like tricky. I don't know. Oh, okay. I shouldn't be tapping. I can just hold it down. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize it was automatic. I thought it was like a uh, semis where you had to like press the trigger every time to fire. Oh, wow. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think us running in like that, one at a time, is a good idea. Oh no. Come on! Come on, I'm trying to heal these guys. There we go. Alright, alright. Whoops. Wait, 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 wait. Get back up. Come on. Okay, critical health, critical health. Dude, where are you going? That guy just like completely jumped away. Oh, wow. What was that? Oh, Tracer. Of course it's Tracer. Tracer's like perfect for this game mode because she can like zoop, uh, zoom in, do a little bit of damage, and then swoop out of there. So super really, really, really good pick for this kind of uh, game mode. Oh no, this is bad. They're about to capture it already. Man, we barely held it. That is not good. I thought we'd be able to hold it down for at least a little bit further. But we just seemingly cannot hold it down whatsoever. Guys, can somebody just attack this tracer? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, can't get the revive yet. Let me get our tracer healed up. Oh man, I gotta use probably R1 more often. I feel like I don't use that enough. But I don't know, I just feel like I'm constantly running around also just healing people. Uh, just to make sure that we at least have a chance at capturing something. But maybe I shouldn't be doing that? I don't know. Maybe I should be more focused on just like, hey, let's just do more damage, you know? Because it would make sense. So I don't know. Oh, wow. That was just that was just silly by me. Why did I even do that? Why did I even run in there? That was insane! I shouldn't have done that. That was not smart. There's basically no strategy to that. <laughs> it was just like, oh, just walk in there. What the, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, man. Okay. They're at 90%, basically. And there's currently a... Come on. Go, dude. Come on. Come on, Hanzo. Go. Do a bunch of damage, dude. Do a bunch of damage. Okay. I'm just trying to heal everything. And everybody. Come on. Cover me. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Did we just win? Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, that was insane. What a series of three rounds. I mean, come on, that was insanity. Wowzers. Ooh, I can't believe we actually won that though. That was, uh, that was crazy. After that first round, I was like, there's no way we're winning this. We were getting destroyed, but we got the job done. And uh, that's all that matters. Come on, put us up there. Really, dude? Damage blocked is much more higher. I, I seriously feel like that was not fair. Because I feel like we did really, really good work there. We healed for like over 4,000 HP. It was something, or even more than that. It was insane. But, whew, before we wrap up today's episode, we do have time to open up a loot box. So let's see what we get. Oh, just a rare, really? What is that? Is that a weapon skin? Oh, that's a spray. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think they have weapon skins, so uh, that was interesting. All right. So we got a rare spray, or sorry, player icon. So yay. Uh, with that in mind, ooh, let's see. What is this? 
<laughs> just catchphrase is catchphrase. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good, Reinhardt. All right, so what does this mean? Well, uh, next time we'll be playing as Farah, who actually gave us a lot of trouble in that last match. If you noticed, there was a really, really good Farah player uh, there. So this will be the character that we are playing next. Uh, I like to call her the Gundam pilot because she looks like uh, like a Gundam-inspired type design. Looks really, really cool, though. I do like it quite a bit. And then after that, we'll be playing as Reaper and then moving on to the lower uh, branch of characters right down here. So uh, not all that many characters to go, which is kind of interesting. I thought it would take ages uh, to go through all of them, but little by little, we're getting through all of them. Thank you so very much for the support so far on Overwatch. You guys have really, really seemed to enjoy it. So once again, if you guys enjoyed the episode, drop a like. I'll catch you lovely folks next time. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you laters. Alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.